Mark Kim with OrientWatchUSA.com with CEVOM001B. This is one of Orient's classic watches, and this is just one of the many examples of why Orient has been in existence since 1950. Many people have always asked us to take wrist shots because I guess uh, purchasing from online, one of the things that they want to know is how well or how, what it's going to look like on my wrist. So I will do my best to show you what I think it's going to look like. Just at least show you the different angles of how it looks on my wrist so you can better, that you can better imagine it uh, resting on your own. You notice a couple things. I know um, there's one thing I have to let you know. Black is just one of the most impossible colors to film. And so that's the reason why I'm always constantly changing it because of the glare. But if I get a little closer, and hopefully you'll maybe be able to see some detail here. But you'll notice that the dial is dressed with a pattern, or at least a checkered pattern. Just one of the nice, very classic, uh, the classic elements of this watch, or at least the dial. A very brave 12 numeral on top, which gives a very nice appeal also. But before I go to the movement functionalities, I want to talk about the case, the clasp, the band, and all the other little features too. So let me go ahead and take off the watch and you'll notice the orange logo around the buckle. Be happy so before I do that, there's two push buttons. I'm going to press both to unlock it. It's a fold of a clasp. To re-engage the clasp, just go ahead and fold it and it'll snap it again. One of the nice things about Orient's classic watches is their, is their usage of, of the bands and how well it works with the case. Just like you, I don't work in a watch factory. I don't know exactly that. I don't know all the facets of production but when designing, but they did a very nice execution of the bands. Okay, now going back to the watch, let me see, see if I can find a little place where the glare isn't so bad. But you'll notice that there's a red second hand right over here. Let me see if I can do a better job. Oh, there's a couple things that you'll notice. The wide count on the bottom, which gives you the full day name and the date right on top. I really love this red tint um, second hand. I think it's just one of the, one of the nicest and starkest uh, design of this watch, even though it's so small. This uh, watch does use a mechanical movement, which means there's no batteries or circuit boards in here. Everything works just like, uh, just for example, like a grandfather's watch. It uses a spring to power it. It's one of the most, uh, in my opinion, one of the one of the best uh, accuracies right out of the box. Okay, so let me show you some of the, the other design elements, like the, the case, which you can see here. It does have a, a brand logo right here. You see any fingerprints? That's just for me. <laughs> Showing you the watch. So we can get the, uh, Even the crystal is domed. For those who don't know too much about production, this is, this is, a, this is this not such an easy thing to do. And there you go, at the case of it does have bruise on the side. It's kind of a giveaway that it is screwed down the side. Okay. Alright boys and girls, this is CEVOM001B. That's, I think this is the perfect gift for your dad to your father's day or a birthday. It's got one of those timeless designs. Um, it's, yeah, exactly. This watch really does have a timeless design, so I think regardless of how old that other user would be, I think they'll be able to appreciate it. I would wear it with just about anything from casual to formal, just, and perhaps just a minute for maybe a sport, for, for one of those days when you're just going to go have that, just do some sports. But other than that, it's an extremely appropriate watch. Okay, this is Mark Kim with CEVOM001B.